It's just over two years since former Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak was convicted of abusing his power, criminal breach of trust and money laundering for siphoning off $10 million from a subsidiary of state investment firm 1MDB. Last December, the Court of Appeal upheld that conviction. But to the frustration of millions of Malaysians, Najib still remained free on bail. That freedom ended Tuesday as the country's apex court rejected his final appeal and ordered him to be taken to prison. On the eve of the hearing, Najib switched legal teams. His new lawyers then asked the federal court to postpone the hearing for three to four months to give them time to prepare. The court rejected that request, as well as efforts to introduce new evidence. So Najib's lawyers declined to present any oral arguments as to why the earlier court ruling should be overturned. As a result, the five-judge panel unanimously upheld the original verdict and ordered Najib to start his prison term. The former prime minister is still on trial in relation to some $700 million of funds from 1MDB that also ended up in his personal bank account.